Welcome to Random and Desperate. Well, today I'm going to have a look around my local park. Now, but first of all, look at this marvellous structure here. Now, we are in Denton, which is in Manchester, and if you are one of my, let's just say, worldwide subscribers, this is in England. So we're just outside this look, lovely statue here, which is famous, Denton is famous for its hat making, its tipping hats. There used to be loads of factories all around Denton, many, many years ago, but things have died out. So today we're going to have a look around the local park. Now this park was purchased for £7,000, well, the land was £7,000 it was, in 1886 and it didn't turn into a park till around about 1912 when where the bandstand was built just over there where that lovely gentleman is viewing the, the glorious beautiful park. Now let's talk about your local park. Now every town in country has some kind of local park. It was a meeting centre of generations gone by. That's where local hotties used to sit on park benches round here looking for their future husband. <laughs> I want to have a look at this bandstand here. Do -do. And over the years, it was all run down. All the panels at the top actually coming away. All the ironwork started falling apart and rusting. So in, thank you to the National, National Lottery in 2017, they pay for the, this glorious bandstand to be back to its former glory. Beautiful. And here's an interesting fact for you. In 1942, there was an undiffused bomb which was actually placed right in the middle there and it was designed to come over it was in world war ii then and they had to raise funds they had to raise revenue for let's just say spitfires tanks and all the army what goes with it so all the councils thought of brilliant ideas to come up with to raise funds to help with the war effort and this one and Thameside Council had a bomb right in the middle of the bandstand. And yes, it was, it wasn't going to blow up, but what people did, they donated money. they come and have, have a look at it. And they donated money to the war effort. Hiya, pal. You okay? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Charlie. Hello, Charlie. The one there. Yeah. Which is that is a charitable pavilion. Right, okay. Yeah, nothing to do with the council. Oh that's a good thing. On then. Monday, Wednesday, Friday you have tea and coffee. And there. that's where I'm going next. I've been invited to go oh, in there. Well, I'm going we're going in, aren't we, Charlie? Well, I'm, a, I'm a YouTuber, you see, so I do a lot of stuff on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Charlie. They like dogs in. Do they? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Children, women. I women? Do. I oh. oh yeah, I talk to anyone. <laughs> and I say to the ladies walking out with some horrible days with um, Pram that say, why don't you come in there for a coffee and a talk? You can talk. I know. You know, there's yeah. chill toys there for children. All right, okay. Yeah. So I might see you in there in a bit. You will see me yeah. there. It's open till 12. Friday's the best day to come. I've heard the famous bacon the butter. Bacon butter, yeah. yeah. <laughs> One pound. 30, I think it one pound thirty for a bacon boy, and it's forty p for a tea and fifty p for a coffee. Oh, you can't, you can't and beat that. Round of toast is twenty p. Yeah, twenty p. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know it's two rounds of crows because they're the same as a cup of tea. Yeah, but you can also have a jam. They sell sashes of jam and okay, mommy. yeah, they're fifteen p. But right. that's. They can't really. They I... can't do anything about the price of those, but yeah. the tea and coffee is cheap. Yeah. So I'll see you in there. And, and it's probably... all what? voluntary. Oh, all right, okay. Nobody's paid. Well, that's good. That's good. So they do it say for... it's a charitable organisation. So they do it for the community. It's a community, yeah. 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 I appreciate that. I will see you there in about 20 minutes. I might even buy you a coffee and I might even oh, treat you're all you. Right. <laughs> I usually one of the ladies will. We have a, you know, these groups. Yeah. 
Me Wednesday says it's the worst day to come, to be honest. Wow. There's a probably only about, about seven or eight of us oh, in there. Oh, okay. Well, Friday. Yeah. 25, 20, I do it. Well, I'll have to do that. I'll have to give him a challenge for me. Yeah. Yeah, that would be Mondays, interesting. Mondays, nine or ten. Yeah. People just think because it's a, the older generation go, it, it used to be just for pensioners ah, right, okay. years ago, and everyone here yeah. thinks it's still, it's all people who go. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm one of them yeah. now. You know, I am one of them now, without a doubt. Well, I will see you in there in probably about 20 minutes. Absolutely. What's your name? By the Jeff. Jeff. Nice to meet you, Jeff. They call me. Mine's Random. It's my YouTube name, Random. Random. Ra my real name, Steve. Yeah. Oh, my son's called Steve. All right. So <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. He's I'll... actually called Fez, but. <laughs> Fez. <laughs> Everyone nickname. knows him as just a nickname. All right. Okay. He's Steve. Yeah. yeah. Right, I'll see you soon. <laughs> a V, the best way to spell it, the proper yeah. way, the English name. Yeah. <laughs> See you shit, Charlie. There you go, you just walk around random places and you get talking to random people by just saying hello. Simple hello. Now we're outside a war monument. Now this was built in 1912, the same time as the bandstand, and it weighed round about 90 tonnes. Now, if you look at the dates, this is this is definitely the Great War, and I like how the, the all the flowers and it's well kept. So respect to you, sir. Respect to all them gentlemen over the years who have lost their lives for us, so we can do YouTube and go about our daily base, basis, not being dominated by a different country, different rules. These gentlemen. And there's some ladies, but not, not many in this time, but there's some gentlemen who fought on the battlefronts of France, tried to, for our independence, for our strength. Nice, nice little park here. Now, if you look here, you've got tennis courts here. Now, these have always been tennis courts over the year, but what I don't like about it is these bars, okay? Look at these, but yes, I accept they're to stop balls from flying everywhere, but it looks to me like a jail. Absolutely looks like a jail. And like, just like when you go around schools, when you pick your kids up, everything is behind bars. So what must children think in the future? That everything is closed off behind bars. Yes, it's a generation, of let's just say discontent and a lot of anger in the world but we need to respect the beauty of this place to be honest with you now did you notice that little hot, hotty what walked by <laughs> i should have said hello but i was talking to that lovely gentleman well i'm going to head my way to the communal let's just say communal cafe what's just up the road because i've been promised by a lady who's there that she will look after me and you know I like being looked after so I appreciate people and by the way what do you think of my beard <laughs> well, it's getting to winter now and I want a free a free insulation on my face hiya morning morning that's what you have to do when you walk around these places just say hello just say hello now there is a play area around here now and possibly a school it looks like but i don't think it's a school anymore at the back now i don't like filming anything with a pat with let's just say where children can play because it's, it's not very nice filming children and their reputations what men have these days you get accused of all sorts so it's better not Thanks a lot, people. I will see you next time for another video. But this time we'll go into the cafe and, and see what's on offer. Because I am getting quite peckish. And I want to meet that gentleman who I spoke to in this glorious, beautiful British.